This video is designed to help you start an aluminum window business. At the end of the video, you'll find a valuable gift. It's an aluminum window business plan that you can download and will lay down for you, step by step, everything you need to know to start a successful aluminum window business of your own. If you are new to this channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. It's not an exaggeration to say that an aluminum windows business meets most, if not all, of the requirements entrepreneurs look for in a ready-made business model. Low startup requirements, stable demand, and an established referral network, make aluminum business a worthwhile consideration for aspiring business owners. The process of manufacturing aluminum windows is much easier than it sounds. To create an aluminum storm window, the manufacturer cuts the glass to the customer's specifications, wraps it in rubber gasket material, and encases it in aluminum railing, extrusions. Many aluminum window businesses are operated out of the owner's home on a part-time basis, until the business proves profitable enough to cover a full-time salary and leased business space. You need to have a minimal amount of mechanical skills, to start an aluminum window business, but not much. If you're comfortable doing handyman projects around the house, you're probably a good candidate for an aluminum window startup. A few basic tools, glass cutting equipment, and a starting inventory of raw materials, will get your business up and running in no time. To market your products, you'll need to be intentional about creating working relationships with contractors, builders, and home remodelers. Contractors are creatures of habit. If you do a good job, expect to be called back for future projects. You can also market your products directly to homeowners, through local circulars and home improvement events. One of the nice things about an aluminum windows business, is that you can either outsource some of the service requirements, or perform them all yourself. For the sake of accuracy, most aluminum window manufacturers measure window spaces themselves. After manufacturing the product, they then either perform the installation or contract it out to a third party. An effective business plan is your aluminum windows business's stepping stone to profitability and long-term success. From a business ownership perspective, that makes business planning your first priority, and not a task that can be assigned to the back burner. Competition. Long before you open an aluminum windows business within your community, it's a smart move to find out how many competitors you have. Is the established competition doing a good job? It's important to understand their strengths and weaknesses and think through how you'll stake up against those established businesses. If you want to open an aluminum windows business, it's essential that you talk to somebody who is already in the business. If you think your local competitors will give you advice, you're being over-optimistic. The last thing they want to do is help you to be a better competitor. However, an entrepreneur who owns an aluminum windows business in a different city, may be willing to share their entrepreneurial wisdom with you, provided that you won't be directly competing with them. Many business owners are happy to give advice to new entrepreneurs. It can take a while to find an entrepreneur who is willing to talk, but it's well worth the effort. Location Another factor you must consider will be the location of your business. Knowing the essential space for your work area will give you an overview of the required machinery and workforce to start mobilizing your business. The location constraints also cover the competition you have in the area. Checking your possible competitors will help you strategize your target markets and services you can offer to make a name for your business and stand out. Machines and Raw Materials For the manufacturing process, mechanical machinery will be your greatest investment in this business. The essential machines needed for an aluminum joinery business is cutting machine, grinders, buffing machine, and drills. These machines will be your key element in finishing your aluminum products. For raw materials, flat bars and sheets of aluminum must be always readily available in your workplace. Other materials like glass, clips and handles are also stapled raw mats in the aluminum joinery business. Focus on your services. The quality of service will be the key factor in building your reputation. Your reputation showcases the work ethic and reliability of your business. Having a good record of services and product reviews will help you build your network which can attract more customers and land some big contracts. The focus on improving and maintaining the quality of service your business can provide, will be a great leap towards success. Learn from the experts. Another essential factor when starting every business, is to research and get involved with the people already in it. Seeking advice or even just talking with them about the business, will give you the right insight on how to move forward. Though it is hard for a local competitor to help you gain more knowledge about it, since you may compromise their sales and another customer. You may find an entrepreneur who's willingly open to sharing their knowledge and insight on how to succeed in the business. Target market. The traditional way of selling aluminum works are locally done. But with the current technology, 
You can also sell your products online to expand your target market. Having more options in which you can showcase your products, greatly helps in developing your brand name. You can use different social media platforms as starters. And when you are confident enough of your brand, you can level up by listing your products on different B2B, business to business, websites. The next part of the video is not specific to an aluminum window op business. Nevertheless, this knowledge is essential for success in the aluminum window business, as well as in any other business. Ignore it at your own peril. Operating a successful aluminum window business will depend on the following four conventions. 1. A practical plan, with a solid foundation. 2. Dedication, and willingness to sacrifice, to reach your goal. 3. Technical skills. 4. Basic knowledge of management, finance, record keeping and market analysis. As a new owner, you will need to master these skills, and techniques, if your business is to be successful. Finding a niche. Small businesses range in size from a manufacturer, with many employees, and millions of dollars in equipment, to the lone window washer, with a bucket and a sponge. Obviously, the knowledge and skills, required for these two extremes, are far apart, but for success they have one thing in common. Each has found a business niche, and is filling it. The most critical problems you will face, in your early planning, will be to find your niche, and determine the feasibility of your idea. Get into the right business at the right time, is very good advice, but following that advice, may be difficult. Many entrepreneurs plunge into a business venture, so blinded by the dream, that they fail to thoroughly evaluate its potential. Is your business idea feasible? Before you invest time, effort, and money, the following exercise will help you separate sound ideas, from those bearing a high potential for failure. Identify and briefly describe, the business you plan to start. Identify the product or service, you plan to sell. Answering yes, to any of the following three questions, means you are on the right track. A negative answer, to all of them, means the road ahead could be rough. 1. Does your product or service, satisfy an unfilled need? 2. Will your product or service, serve an existing market, in which demand exceeds supply? 3. Will your product or service be competitive, based on its quality, selection, price, or location? Market Analysis for a small business to be successful, the owner must know the market. To learn the market, you must analyze it, a process that takes time and effort. You don't have to be a trained statistician, to analyze the marketplace, nor does the analysis have to be costly. Analyzing the market is a way to gather facts, about potential customers, and to determine the demand for your product or service. The more information you gather, the greater your chances of capturing a segment of the market. Know the market before investing your time and money in any business venture. The following questions, will help you collect the information necessary to analyze your market, and determine if your product or service will sell. This brief exercise will give you a good idea, of the kind of market planning you need to do. An answer of no, to any of the questions, indicates a weakness in your plan, so do your research, until you can answer each question with a yes. 1. Do you know who your customers will be? 2. Do you understand their needs and desires? Three. Do you know where they live? 4. Will you be offering the kind of products or services, that they will buy? 5. Will your prices be competitive, in quality and value? 6. Will your promotional program be effective? 7. Do you understand how your business compares with your competitors? 8. Will your business be conveniently located, for the people you plan to serve? 9. Will there be adequate parking facilities, for the people you plan to serve? Planning your startup. The following questions are grouped according to function. They are designed to help you prepare for opening day. Merchandise. Have you decided what items you will sell or produce, or what services you will provide? Have you made a merchandise plan, based upon estimated sales, to determine the amount of inventory you will need to control purchases? Have you found reliable suppliers, who will assist you in the startup? Have you compared the prices, quality, and credit terms, of suppliers? Business records. Are you prepared to maintain complete records, of sales, income and expenses, accounts payable, and receivables? Have you determined how to handle payroll records, tax reports, and payments? Do you know what financial reports, should be prepared, and how to prepare them? Finances. A large number of small businesses, fail each year. There are a number of reasons for these failures, but one of the main reasons is insufficient funds. Too many entrepreneurs 
try to start and operate a business without sufficient capital, money. To avoid this dilemma, you can review your situation by analyzing the following three questions. 1. How much money do you have? 2. How much money will you need to start your business? 3. How much money will you need to stay in business? In order to answer the second question, how much money will you need to start your business? You need to prepare an estimate of all your startup costs. Here is a list of items you may need to take into account. Note that this list is for a retail business. Items will vary for service, construction, manufacturing or online firms. Decorating and remodeling, fixtures and equipment, installing fixtures and equipment, services and supplies, beginning inventory cost, legal, professional fees, licenses and permits, telephone utility deposits, insurance, signs, advertising for opening, unanticipated expenses. Now, the answer to the third question, how much money will you need to stay in business? Must be divided into two parts, immediate costs, and future costs. From the moment the door to your new business opens, a certain amount of income may come in. However, this income should not be projected in your operating expenses. You will need enough money available to cover costs for at least the first three months of operation. The following list will help you project your operating expenses on a monthly basis. Typical expenses for one month may include your living costs, employee wages, rent, advertising, supplies, utilities, insurance, taxes, maintenance, delivery, transportation, miscellaneous. Now sum up the total estimated monthly expenses and multiply it by three. This is the amount of cash you will need to cover operating expenses for three months. Deposit this amount in a savings account before opening your business. Use it only for those purposes listed in the above list because this money will ensure that you will be able to continue in business during the crucial early stages. By adding the total startup costs to the total expenses for three months, you can learn what the estimated costs will be to start and operate your business for three months. By subtracting the totals of the lists from the cash available, you can determine the amount of additional financing you may need, if any. Now you will need to estimate your operating expenses for the first year after startup. The first step in determining your annual expenses is to estimate your sales volume, month by month. Next, determine the cost of sales. You may want to use a spreadsheet to do this. After startup, the primary source of revenue in your business will be from sales, but your sales will vary from month to month because of seasonal patterns and other factors. It is important to determine if your monthly sales will produce enough income to pay each month's bills. An estimated cash flow projection will show if the monthly cash balance is going to be subject to such factors as the following. Failure to recognize seasonal trends. Excessive cash taken from the business for living expenses. Too rapid expansion. And slow collection of accounts if credit is extended to customers. Conclusion. If you have carefully answered all the questions in this video, you have seriously thought about your goal. However, there may be some things you may feel you need to know more about. Owning and running an aluminum window business is a continuous learning process. Research your idea and do as much as you can yourself, but don't hesitate to seek help from people who can tell you what you need to know. As we conclude this video, it's time you get your free aluminum window business plan gift. Go to the description below this video to get it now. It is completely free, no strings attached. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and hit the subscribe button for more videos like this.